Hello guys, for who here, back in another video. This time around, guiding you through the St. Cubesley uh, event 2020. Uh, also, couldn't better known probably as the St. Patrick's Day event. We've got this for uh, 14 days, starting today as this video is coming out, and I'm gonna guide you through the whole thing. If you just wanted the written thing, Probosaurus has done the written part of it, and it's uh, in the description also, there's things I will reference to in this video, and it kind of explain how I do it, because there's a few that is a time consuming, uh, that doesn't really mean that I wanna show like kind of what step uh, is and whatnot. But it is linked in the description, and you can go check that out if you just wanna do that. But if you want my step-by-step uh, -step, uh, commentary, you uh, just, Follow the video here. So uh, step number zero, which you don't want to, you can see I am on step number one because I just started this. And uh, but there is a step number zero, and that is uh, to reach mastery level ten. So if you're not mastery level ten yet, uh, you do have to get that, and you will start getting confetti balls. And you can see in my inventory there is a confetti ball uh, right down uh, in here. You can, uh, I guess I can open my inventory. Is right here the confetti ball? You can also make these, by the way. But I'll explain that when we get. Uh, you know, further on. So step number one is to gather lucky dust, and lucky dust comes from uh, doing dungeons. So just regular dungeons, any dungeon at all, when you defeat uh, the dungeon, it's done, and you have the little chest in the end. Uh, you uh, open the chest or de destroy the chest, and in that, with all the other loot and stuff like that, you will find that lucky dust. And I'm not sure how much drops, if it's just one per dungeon, but uh, I, I would assume that it's at least one per dungeon. It usually is. It's not like it, you have to do uh, at least 60 dungeons or something like that. I know it's going to drop for every single, uh, but sometimes I'm, I'm, they might also, but from the higher dungeons, sometimes it drops more. Um, it used to do that in the last time this event was around, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, you're just going to get it by doing dungeons. So pretty easy step number one, and that's going to give you 10 chaos chests. So uh, that was step number one. Let's jump on to step number two. So step number two is to craft with the lucky dust. And lucky dust uh, is the things we were gathering before. And now we have to craft three things uh, with the uh, this dust. And you will find this uh, in the uh, Radiant Day Spring. And I will go there real quick. I will uh, use to the hub. You, you have to, when you have gathered the 35 dust, you just go to the hub and you're gonna stand, get up right here and over here you can see actually there's a bunch of people already uh, in the Radiant Day Spring and you just cl click this one and, ra and then you start, you can craft uh, things with it and you don't, it's not, uh, don't craft the confetti balls, you can of course if you want to do so, uh, but this is what they want you to craft. So uh, you, I, you probably wanna just do the, uh, you know, five or three lucky stars because you have to do three of these. Uh, and of course you need a little bit of flux with that as well. If you gather more uh, dust or um, uh, than that, then you can just make the seeds if you want to do that. And the seeds uh, basically give you the lucky clovers. And I can also show you the uh, lucky clovers right over here in my personal chest uh, because it's from also from last year. As you can see right here, I have 22 left from last year and they give you 50 magic fine for an hour. Uh, so these are basically from the uh, last time we had this event. So that is step number uh, two. Uh, let me find an, a decent spot to uh, talk to you about step number three. So step number three is to spread some luck. And basically by doing this, you just have to plant some seeds or throw some lucky stars to help others. So as we talked about, um, maybe I can show that again, maybe that, that makes a lot more uh, sense if I go over here. Um, so the seeds, these seeds makes the lucky clovers, and when you have done this, so if you uh, uh, use them, or uh, basically they wanted to plant those seeds, so you don't have to use them or anything like that. So you just plant those seeds, or you take these lucky stars and you throw them uh, basically uh, around uh, with up to seven other people, so it's like a pinata, and that increases uh, everybody's, uh, those seven people and you, uh, with some extra luck, which extra magic find, for uh, these um, five extra minutes, or f five minutes, basically. So uh, that's what I mean by they wanted you to spread the luck around, and that is, that is step number three. So either you just plant those, uh, if you had more, uh, if you just want to plant them down, or you want to get the, you know, uh, just make the three lucky stars and then throw them at people, uh, what you want to do. 
So that is basically step number three. So we can get on to step number four. And step number four doesn't really have much to do with anything other than you just have to trigger your magic find. So of course, the more magic find you have, uh, the more lucky you are going to do this. But uh, just playing around, that's why it's time consuming for, uh, I do have a lot of magic find. I think I'm running around with 3000 or something like that. Yeah, right now I'm 3,490, and that's without Patreon or anything like that. Uh, but that would probably, with that much magic find that I have, it would probably be enough uh, getting my magic find to trigger every single time I do a dungeon. But if you have very low magic find, uh, this is going to take you a while to do so. But it is going to just just go out there, do some dungeons, just do what you regularly would do. And just sudden, this step number four is just going to make itself do uh, do that. The next step is a little bit more tricky uh, because it is three star dungeons. And if you're really, really new, uh, you're not three stars uh, dungeons yet. But in these 14 days, if you just play every day, if you're starting as of right now, you should be able to get some three star dungeons in uh, by, f uh, by, you know, this uh, event is done, basically. And that is step number five. Uh, to do fi 15 three star dungeons and three stars is of course if you don't know what three stars are um, I can Let's find a let's just go to a Kandoria world and I'll show you what a three star dungeon is Th those are basically the big star dungeons and uh, You can see okay, we can use this as a reference uh, Just find a spot where <laughs> nothing is gonna uh, attack me. I'm gonna use this spot right here uh, as you can see, hopefully, if I move this over here and I use my mouse, if you can see right here, this is a one-star dungeon because right here, there's a star. This means that this is a one-star dungeon. So you just have to run around. I don't think we can find any on the map. Yeah, we can. Uh, let me use my mouse again. This one, this is a three-star dungeon. If you can, I can get it right here. So I'm standing right here on one of the small ones. Uh, these ones are where people start. These are the starting points. These on the map. These are recipe dungeons. And these are the three star dungeons. You have to do five of these. Oh, sorry, 15 of these. And um, you will, uh, you know, get, get it done, basically. So you just have to find one. There's one over here, actually. Oh, there's one right here. Okay, so let's, let's just fly really quickly. And let's not, not make it too long, because you probably already know what a three star dungeon is. But if you shouldn't be, let me stand right here. You can see um, this one. See, you have to do the three uh, star dungeon. So I basically <laughs> completed a quest, if you see down here. But that's the daily quest that I want to talk about also in the end. But we were step, step number five. Let's do step number six as well. So step number six is to throw confetti or lucky stars. So um, as you saw in the uh, crafting bench, uh, should we go back? Uh, let's go back. Let's, let, let's just go back and I will show you. Uh, lucky stars can also be thrown the ones you threw before if you want to spread some uh, more luck around if you want to see it like that um, But you can also just craft with the confetti balls and it costs you a hundred glim So that's not very expensive. You should probably have this if you don't you can buy it off the marketplace the glim and then buy, make uh, 10 of these confetti balls and you have to throw them so it just doesn't ma make it so you have to uh, you know you do have to uh, throw them. I also think you can still craft them in the uh, fun factory. I don't know if that's cheaper or more expensive. Uh, I want to check that out real quick. So if you are in our club world, uh, information is also in the description to join our club if you want to do so. And we got all the crafting benches and whatnot. But there's something called the fun factory. And in here you can also craft confetti. Oh, it's the same price. Okay, same price. So it doesn't really matter. You can craft it there or you can craft it here. Um, doesn't matter, but the same thing here. You can also, every day you will get a confetti ball to remind you to do uh, gather an ore, right? Every day to gather an ore. Um, so you can actually wait 10 days and you will have 10 confetti balls if you want to really want to cheap it out. But uh, yeah, it's not really, really that crazy, but it will give you a confetti ball every day for reminding you to uh, go and, you know, do your daily thing. So it's going to give you uh, check out the adventure. So they're just giving a confetti ball. So they have something to give you So it will show up here and people will say, oh, okay, cool uh, I have to remember to do my dailies because the daily thing 
is also a thing. <laughs> uh, and there is basically a daily thing to do every single day. Today, because it's the first day, it's going to be gather an ore. Uh, tomorrow, it's going to be upgrade a uh, gem. By the way, we're done with the, the whole uh, the whole quest line. This is the daily adventure you have to do every single day. I should have maybe been more specific when I told you about that. But anyways, uh, tomorrow, it's upgrade a gem. So basically, all you do is you go into your, you know, here and you click a gem and this is one is maxed out but you can also do ones from a box uh, if i just open a box for example uh, i'll take one here put one here box see oh this is a box i can take this gem even though it's nothing and just you know, put it in here and i can just upgrade it that will be exactly the same you don't have to upgrade at a level you just have to hit this button once and you will get uh you know uh, three luxurious boxes and this can be for anybody it doesn't have to be something for me uh, don't have to be high level this can be done by anyone and there's you can see there's a whole list uh, of all the things that uh, basically do that and they do this every time so if you've done the, the I guess the past one year of events it is basically the same thing so um, it is it's not really something new but I just wanted to mention it because there's a lot of good stuff in there for example Mondays you get five lunar souls which is amazing for basically doing nothing just uh, you know gathering a, a key fragment that's basically something you get from doing a dungeon uh, over uh, uber one or u1 for example you get some key fragments there so pretty simple stuff but very very rewarding so with that said I hope everything you saw on the screen as I said uh, make sure you like and subscribe the video because it will be shown to more people and we can help some more people get this event done and it's actually a pretty nice little event uh, not too shabby I would say and of course also the daily things and, and whatnot again thank you so much for watching again if you liked it make sure you, you like and subscribe I said that three times that's too many never mind thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one bye